Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Super Shell Monster Story. Today we're going to be headed into the, uh, western... No, eastern! <laughs> I had to think for a second. The eastern section of, uh, of, of, uh, Gia Farah's base. So, let's just head inside. This is a really short section, and actually it's entirely optional. If you don't want to go in here, you don't have to. It really doesn't matter. Um, there is a nice piece of equipment in here, and there's also a scene. Uh, this is the equipment. It's a queen shield for Kira. Uh, it raises her defense by quite a bit, so it's kind of nice to get that. Um, also, I, I, I failed to mention last time, we got something called the red shoes. That increases your agility by 30 points, which I think is kind of useless, to be quite honest with you. But uh, you don't have to go up here. You could, if you want to, just get the shield and then leave. And actually seeing this scene right here that we're about to see um, triggers a boss battle. So the boss battle is also completely optional, but I'm showing it for completion's sake. Why not? What in the world looks like a hand? Oh, a giant hand! Just what kind of hand? Be careful, David. From this point onward, we should be prepared for the unexpected. I guess so. Well, let's get out of here. Let's see. Let's just exit out of here, because that's all there is to do in the eastern section. There's really not a lot going on there. But uh, going to the western section is uh, really where we want to go. So let's head on inside here. And this is the last section of Gia's Forest Base, if you didn't figure that one out. Uh, so this is where we will encounter Gia Far. Something isn't right. This appears to be the main entrance, yet we shouldn't have been able to glide into this slip so effortlessly. Be on the lookout for an enemy ambush or a trap. <laughs> A traitorous robot wanders home. Your perception chip is working. But, like a starving animal, we can easily lure you into a cage and consume you. Hey, big talker. Why don't you come over here and tell it to our faces? Oh, what in the world? It's like a red thing. <laughs> Ask and ye shall receive. I'm the commander of Giafar's elite home guard, the one and only Hercules. Seriously? That's kind of odd. On Giafar's standing orders, I just ambushed you intruders. According to Lady Gujot, I'm what you Sheldoradians call sadistic. Know what I mean? Never even heard of it until recently. An I, and I are one? What, what, what are you talking about? So let me ease on down here and dish, dish you all out a little bit of sadistic. He doesn't even know what the word means. It's Donkey Kong. It's frickin' Donkey Kong. <laughs> so... Hercules is Donkey Kong, and he's sadistic, and he doesn't know what the word means because he's not using it properly in a sentence. That's just great. Um, we'll go ahead and use Final Claw, just kick these guys' asses. They're nothing new. We've seen them before. But, you know, it's it, it's an event battle, so why not? Ooh, they're actually... Maybe these are the uh, the cousins, the non-palette-swapped cousins of the ones that we saw earlier, because they're actually doing more damage to us than, uh, than the other ones did. Oh, nice. Got two level gains there. Awesome. Ugh! That's tragic! My henchmen should have chastised you mortally! Now I'm forced to take matters into my own claws! Meet the great Hercules! And die! The Hercules with this huge red cape that looks like Donkey Kong. Like, seriously? with a unicorn horn. Uh, okay, sure. Let's try, uh, let's try Particle Flare. And we'll try a Particle Claw. And I'm gonna have you, uh, we'll do the Red Dragon, why not? And I'm going to have you, uh, hmm, what do I want you to do? Uh, we'll use, uh, a Misty Haze, why not? No, whoa! Damn! 820 damage! Holy shit! Wow, I didn't even see it lower his HP or anything. That's amazing! Ha! What a frickin' joke! Two hits! Two hits and you're dead! That was ridiculous. Okay, some boss you are. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, pretty easy. So let's go on in here, get some treasure. What do we have? What's this? Ooh, the Omega Lid. That's a shield for Ernie, who I am not using, as you can tell. And what else do we have here? Uh, can't go over there, so let's go inside this door. 
Let's just keep on moving around. There's not really much to see, uh, to be quite honest with you. Uh, in here, it's pretty much a one- Um, uh, we have to go through this door, and it checks to make sure that you have the princess tail so that you've at least gone through the southern path. So, it te it, it said that it's checking for Giafar's DNA, which was in the prince's tail. Um, kind of gruesome, but, you know, whatever. So we're finally in, and we're in a room with a ton of slowdown, which is just... Oh, here we have some new enemies, a pug and a dark vega. Uh, the pug actually sounds somewhat familiar, like we might have seen it like way at the beginning of the game. The dark vega, though, I know is new. Whoa! Holy crap! What the hell? Yeah, these pugs are useless. But I'm gonna have to use, like, a last rainbow or something. Oh, why am I doing that? I want to use a particle claw again. Or a final... Oh, it's not letting me use final claw because I don't have enough HP to expend on it. That sucks. Um... Let's use that last rainbow. Get some damage in and heal us up because, man, do we need it. God. But, yeah, those aren't... Why are the enemies from the very beginning of the game here? That's kind of weird. Uh, anyway, I need to heal up. Ah, oh, took care of that. Let's just keep going through this massive slowdown room. Like, what in the world? Hey, David, do you see that? What's the giant object over there? Let's have a closer look. Okay, well, we can do that. Oh. It's another hand. But there's not little blood vessels going to it. Huh. Oh, I guess so. He is building a huge monster. We have that other hand, now another hand. Huh. I wonder what other body parts we're going to see, if any at all. It's a lot of questions that need to be answered, and I wonder why there's all this frickin' slowdown. Uh, but it's not too terrible, I guess. Oh, another scene. I wonder what we're gonna see- oh, wow. Is that a giant heart? It certainly appears to be exactly that. Wow, David! Enemy technology may be more advanced than we realized. We should continue to proceed with caution. Well, no shit, I wouldn't have figured that one out without your help. Okay, so nothing going on over here. Man, I want to get out of this room if not just for the slowdown. Keep on moving over to the east. And there are some little holes, like this hole right here that I neglected to mention earlier, but they do contain some treasure. One had a buy ring, which increases your chances of getting a double attack in battle. I gave that to David. That's at the very beginning of the area. And then also over by the heart, there's a hole with a magical cube in it. So make sure that you get those, because those have some decent treasure in it. Nothing too great, except for the buy ring. That's pretty good. A giant heart? Legs? Hand? All together a terrible foe! Stay alert, David! There uh, are some monsters here that will turn you to stone, so make sure that you have some panaceas uh, hanging around, because that would be a real pain in the ass if you had to come in here and then leave. Because you got turned to stone by these assholes. So mine cross. Uh, yeah, let's use your final claw. I'm going to use that as much as humanly possible, because it's amazing! Uh, oh. Okay, I don't really care about that, because I'm not using magic anyway. I'm saving all my magic for healing. Um, because for the most part, the physical attacks do plenty of damage. Uh, Final Claw will take care of them, and then all i got to do is really just kind of heal up Garo every couple of battles, and then I'm fine. But yeah, they can turn you to stone. So, if he turns David to stone, and you don't have his, like, heal status spell, because he's stoned, you need to have some panaceas. So it's a good idea to grab some of those. Uh, do I get another scene about this leg? Oh, I guess so. The experiment, project, whatever you call it, is well advanced. Fortunately, this giant monster is incomplete. David, we need to find Giafar as soon as possible and defeat him! Well, that's what we're trying to do in this incredibly linear final dungeon. Like, why is the Final Dungeon this linear? You would think that the Final Dungeon would be like a maze, kind of like Final Fantasy IV. They had a really good Final Dungeon, where it was mazy and there were secret traps and treasures and all sorts of stuff. Oh, Sir David, I'm so ashamed. I have failed to protect Shell Monster Island. It doesn't matter what happens to me. Please save everyone else. I'm counting on you. That's the Elder of... 
Okay, new floor. We talked to this elder of Shell Monster Village. Let's head down these holes, and they lead to treasure chests as well, just like um, the little holes on the previous floor. Ooh, a sunbow. Let's equip that on Tokia right away. That'll be nice for her. So 410 up to 4... four. Seriously? Her ultimate weapon gives her four more attack power? That's ridiculous. That's really kind of crappy. That's like a slap in the face, I've got to say. Oh, but Tokia's good enough. Her magic is insane. So I'm not too worried about it. And what do we have here? Ooh, the fancy cape. Is that for Tokia as well? I kind of think it is. She has the rainbow cape. No, she can't equip that cape. Why would she get that but not be able to equip it? Can you equip it? No. Okay. Well, we got something. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm getting all this treasures and I'm going to be using everybody anyway to fight the final boss. So it is nice to have um, all that treasure. Let's see. And what do we have here? A vital in all. Okay, very good. And is that it? Yeah. So we can save right there, which I think I will go ahead and do. Um, might as well. Yeah, I'll save. Haven't saved in quite some time, as you can see. Um, and then head up north. Oh, it's Gajo! Huh. Why the big surprise look? Did you put me out of your mind? I'm the real prize, you know. But I have a gift that you may keep us apart. Without further ado, here it is! Fat Badger, we brought you back to service. Do well and prosper. New Fat Badger, your body's better than before, but fitting your demonness. I've also arranged for your favorite Shellaradians to help you rehabilitate. Hop to it, you pulsating pile of putrid protoplasm. Well, there's some alliteration for you. So, if all the body parts were separate just like five seconds ago, how did they put it together and then put life into it and all that and make it be able to fight within like like two seconds this doesn't make any sense and in the meantime while all this is happening and it's taking forever to do why don't the party just kill Gujo? all they got to do is push her off the cliff you know that, that's all it takes is one swift trip or push and bitch is gone like bitch is gone get rid of her oh that's just me you know i'd push smurfette so far down that cliff and so fast She'd be, ugh, she'd be history. Uh, but anyway, we gotta wait for Fat Badger to come back. Oh, wow. Looks like Bjorn from Dragon Quest uh, V. Is he gonna come attack us at a lighthouse, too? Oh, well, that's creepy. New Fat Badger, have some fun with your fresh lease, lease on life. Okay. Oh, it's like all mechanical. It's kind of cool looking. Let's use that uh, that particle flare again. That was amazing. We'll use final claw. Uh, we'll use a block down. There it is. And I'm going to use last rainbow. There it is. Perfect. Miss. Holy crap! Uh-oh. Huh. He might not be as big as a pushover as I thought he would be. Okay, well, at least the... At least the final claw did pretty decent damage, and at least the last rainbow will heal us up all the way. Which is kind of nice, I've got to say. Okay, th that did some pretty decent respectable damage, but let's try that one more time. Particle Flare. Uh, final Claw. I'll have you summon a dragon. We'll try Red Dragon. Red Dragon seems to be always... A good way to go, and I'm going to use um, Misty Haze, because I don't want to die. 205? Ugh. That particle claw... Oh, wow. That particle claw kind of sucks. Well, I'm going to have to heal up Tokyo, or else she... Well, I have the Misty Haze, but still, that's kind of scary that she's that low on life. Ooh! Ooh, that red dragon did not do a lot of damage. That's no good. Looks like Final Claw is doing uh, most of the damage here, doing 500 a pop. So, okay. Let's see. Let's try water. Let's see if that does any better. Um, let's see. Um, hmm. <laughs> I'll have you attack. 
Have you used the final claw? Uh, yeah, let's use that water spell that you have, Ice Sword. And you, I'm gonna do another Last Rainbow. Because the Last Rainbow, it did respectable damage. It did like what, like 200 something damage? Come on, Tokyo, thank God for that Misty Haze. Man, she would have been doomed if not for that. Okay, so the ice isn't doing much damage either. Okay, so maybe Thunder would do good? I'll try that. I'll try the Thunderbolt spell with uh, with Tokia. See if that does some better damage. Although Tokia's magic isn't doing all that hot, I've got to say. So instead of doing that, I'll have Kira summon the, uh, the Wind Dragon. And I'll just have you... I'll just have you attack. Oh, this guy has a lot of evasion, I've got to say. Oh, I hope he's weak to thunder. I hope he's weak to, to, to wind or whatever this is. That would be quite nice. No, no, no. That sucked, too. Looks like Final Claw is the way to go. Physical attacks aren't doing that bad, but Final Claw really is the way to go. Uh, and then I'll try that Thunderbolt, or the Cloud Burst spell that she has. See if that's any better. Okay. Ooh! Let's see. This guy has a lot of HP. Man. Whoa! That's the way to go. Okay, so attacking, final claw. Uh, attacking, and you're on healing duty, Kira, and then I'm going to have you use Cloud Burst over and over and over again, because that is amazing. Okay, so that's pretty much how this battle's gonna go. Uh, Kira heals, David does regular attacks, Garou Final Claws, and Tokia Cloud Burst. And 60,000 experience! Nice! Awesome. <laughs> he doesn't even die. He's just like, oh, hey, bye, bitches, bye. And he goes back down. Just chill. <laughs> Do we test him too soon without prescribing tropical physical therapy? I can't win for losing. My only choice left is to finish you off myself. I can't allow you to just waltz on head. Father would kill me. Literally. The precious egg that will become my father's heir is in fertilization. Oh, you believe that you already murdered his heir? That's a good one. Do you think we'd put all of our baskets in one egg? Huh? That's not how it goes? Whatever. But you're missing the point. We're a race of evolved insects. Naturally. We have backup eggs. Now, I'll demonstrate that your victory at my bio base was a fluke. Come to my bosom one last time. Who says that? <laughs> Who will just bosom in general? Oh, god, she's creepy. Holy shit. Um, let's see, we're gonna try the Particle Flare again, we're gonna use Final Claw, cause it's amazing! Uh, I'm gonna have you use Block Down, where is it, there it is, and you're gonna go back onto Cloud Burst Duty, cause that was awesome. Life Grab. Oh, Confusion! Ooh, that's no good, that's no good at all. Ooh, neither is Particle Flare, that sucked. I really hope that she doesn't stay confused for the rest of the battle. Okay, well, Final Claw is doing amazing. Okay, so we need to get rid of this confusion. Um, I'm gonna have you... Oh, you have that Restore. What is it? Yeah, All Cure. So use All Cure on her. You're gonna use Final Claw. I'm gonna have you use Block Down yet again. Ooh! Yeah, I need her healed so she can start using some Last Rainbow. Because I don't think Kira has an all heal, like a heal us all spell or anything like that. I think that that's pretty much David and Tokia. Uh, let's see, we're going to use another block down because this stacks really nicely. And I'm going to have you use your last rainbow. And I may end up using a Misty Haze because damn, that could get me into trouble real quick if I don't keep up with the last rainbows. I want to see what her weakness is, too. Too bad there's not, like, an Analyze ability in this game. That would be pretty nice if you were able to see um, an enemy's weaknesses. 
That would make things so much nicer. Apparently, she's somewhat weak to light. Uh, have you attack. You're gonna use Final Claw. Let's see. Hmm, what can I have you do? I'll use... I'll use Ice Sword. And we'll try Cloud Burst. We're gonna try different, um... Different attacks. Oh shit, you've gotta be kidding. I'm gonna try different attacks on her to see what her weakness is. Ooh, well it's not ice, I can tell you that much. She may not be weak to anything. Hopefully it's thunder. That would be nice, because that's an easy one for me to exploit. Ooh, completely immune to thunder. Um, another final claw. Well, let's try... Let's try summoning the fire dragon. And let's try... Uh, we already did that. Let's try the land dragon. Well, she's, she's somewhat flying, so the land dragon probably not going to do anything to her. Probably should just use a Misty Haze and call it a day. Misty Haze, physical attacks, and healing is probably the best bet unless fire damage goes through. Then I can have Kira double duty on that. Ugh, that sucked. That just sucked. Let's see how well this goes. If not, then the last thing that I can use is the Wind Dragon. See if that does any better. Ugh, that's terrible. Attack. Final claw. Uh, we'll try that. We'll try the wind dragon, and I need you to use another last rainbow. Get everybody back up. Ah, uh, shit! 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 I'm gonna have to fuck. I'm gonna have to use a panacea on him. You know, it's really crummy how Kira or Tokia doesn't get a status restoring spell. I guess I'd have to use Koopy or Linda, one of the dedicated healers, if I wanted. Ugh. So basically, she's not weak to anything. So I'm gonna stick to melee attacks and last rainbow um, for healing, with Kira doing some backup healing. Uh, that's pretty much where I'm gonna go to. Uh, have you... Let's see. Final Claw. You need to use a Panacea of some sort. There's poison, there's status effects. Is there anything else? Yeah, I'll just use the Panacea on him. Um, and yeah, well, let's use that Misty Haze. Why not? That comes in pretty handy. Oh, this confusion. Oh, that wasn't the. Oh, shit! Ugh. Okay, well, Kira can revive. Panacea doesn't cure confusion? Oh, thank God we killed her. Damn, she's a bitch. What a pain in the ass. David defeated Gujo. Her energy is stored in the reborn sword of love. How could it be that I lost again? Come, you'd better kill me. I don't have any strength left. Killing me is easy. Save father the trouble. Kill her. Come on, kill me now. Do it, David. Kill the bitch. Why? Why won't you end it for me instead of letting him do it? Don't you hate my guts? Don't you want to finish me off for good? Uh, yeah, actually, I do. So, you just stand there staring at me, as if I'm pathetic? All right, I have no choice but to do what you're allowing me to do. I'm escaping. Here I go. Are you sure that is what you want me to do? I'm really leaving now. If you want to kill me, you still have a chance. You're really letting me run away, aren't you? Fine. If you value your life, don't penetrate her base any further. Definitely. You should turn around, go back, save yourself. Hear me? Well, uh, that's actually what we're going to do, because I'm going to go back and reforge the Sword of Love. And next time on Let's Play Super Show Monster Story, we will continue into Geofar's base and face him down himself. It'll be the final battle. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.